Hi there, in this video I want to let you know that you are all, we are all human beings and what my best friend Abraham Maslow says what the human being can be, they must be what you can be, you must be because you have talents, you have possibilities, you have potentialities, you have abilities and you have a natural tendency towards manifesting your true nature that is, you have supreme power of your brain whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can really achieve for you but remember the path to success is not that smooth it is very ups and downs, it is very rocky and very frustrating. If you have set a very small goal, you can easily reach it with little sacrifice and little pain. But you have little bigger goal, you have to sacrifice bigger. Strive more stringently, try more intensely, dedicate and commit yourself, never stop, never quit till you have achieved your goal. But if you really dream, aspire very highly, you have to sacrifice very greatly and you have to really undergo all sorts of headache, heartaches, test of your perseverance, patience, then only you are going to be crowned with success. But most of the people you see, they believe that they are not that much talented, they do not deserve to be so great. These are all alibis, they are covered and timid. Maslow says, it is not very surprising to see people are becoming very successful, very skillful, very productive and creative. It is sad observation and seeing people degrading themselves, despising themselves, not reaching to their full potential, not at all going towards self-actualization. And that's why he says a beautiful word. In these lines you will find, he who despises himself. The born painter sells stockings instead. The most talented man lives a stupid life. The man who knows everything what is truth, but he keeps his mouth shut out of timidity, covered eyes. And one timid and covered person has get it off his own bravery, manliness and so on and so forth. But all these people ultimately will realize, perceive in a deep way they have betrayed themselves, they have really violated the dictates of their destiny and they have become cattle, goats, sheep, lions, wolves, tigers and they have devoured themselves. And out of this frustration and self-punishment only neurosis will emerge. That will not help. At the same time, the brave, the valiant, the courageous, the bold and determined committed will bound back from the pits and dips and ditches and really start starting with new vigor, vitality, courage, conviction, passion, devotion. And I always tell you, come my friends. It is not too late to seek a newer world. Push off and sitting well in order, strive, seek and find different ways and means. You may be delayed, but you can never deny it. Because the absolute law of cause and effect can never err, can never be failing. So as you sow, so you shall reap. The law of compensation, the law of karma, all will be coming to action because you have only one life as my best friend Stephen Hawking said you will never be born again this is one life and Maslow says it's a very precious life you cannot waste it you cannot live in misery, sorrow, suffering and grief pains, scarcity, adversity 
destroying your all kind of peace, prosperity and joy because you will have nothing to offer to yourself but only tears warn you. Particularly this is a warning for the parents. Let your children learn what I am teaching you children and parents. Let your children believe in themselves. Let your children understand that they are second to none. Whatever their mind can conceive and believe, the mind can really achieve for them. But they have to believe in themselves. The magic of believing has tremendous importance, significance and effect and impact on making the man very powerful and superior. If you really believe and you have a goal and there are people to support you and you are ready to sacrifice everything, your attitude being win or perish, victor, they do or die. What can stop you? And who will not believe in you if you don't really give up and quit? Wise people like me believe in everyone. Sometimes it looks everything is lost, gloomy and darkness. Everything is finished. But if you believe in yourself, and if you know that, the labors and wounds are not in vain. Say not the struggle not availeth. Not through stern windows only when daylight comes, comes in the light. In front the sun climbs slow, how slowly. But look westward, the land is bright. For while the tired waves seemly breaking, seem there are no painful ends to gain. But far away, through kicks and inlets making, come silent flooding the man. That's why my best friend Napoleon he said, suddenly the success boomerangs. It comes overflowing. And then you realize you have shed so much of blood, toil, tears and sweat. Where these golden moments were hiding, yes? Maybe you were going through the acid test of your courage, conviction, determination, willpower and passion. And remember, all are equally talented. Those who have really become great, they have put a lot of effort. They believe that they can really change even impossible to possible. They can really achieve unsurmountable. That's why you have planes, cell phones and all these kind of scientific discovery inventions. Come on, sisters and brothers, daughters and sons, arise and awake and stop not till whatever your dreams and desires, aspirations you have achieved in life and become a happy person. But bottom line, focus on your health. This is the most important asset. Then focus on your mind, concentrate. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve. So your mind is the real weapon, tough mind, believing mind, a strong mind. And then you will be what you will do. This is Fakir Yogi Vrindarogi on Vrindra DR channel. Always passionate to see birds with animal plants and humans living in perfect harmony and peace and joyful earth. All have to be happy and we have to strive and seek and find to facilitate with our wisdom that all are enlightened, wise and brave hearts. Hearts by great men reached and kept, we are not attended by sudden flight, but they. Hearts by great men reached and kept, we are not attended by sudden flight, but they who reach the glorious moments. While their companions were sleeping, they were still toiling upon the night. There is no such reality as something for nothing. Come on, brave children, you can do wonders. Believe in yourself. Thank you very much.